So we've got one more demonstration to look at in this section, and that's to do with another application where Sketch is used extensively, and that's in NX Layout. So what you can see on the screen is a machine assembly, and I'm going to use NX Layout to perform a feasibility study to understand if a proposed modification to the machine is viable. So I'll start the NX Layout application and we're going to create our layout from 3D. So we're going to use the existing 3D assembly as the basis for our layout. I select the geometry and we get an immediate preview of the layout. And then we position it ready to make the modifications. Once positioned, we can make some display modifications to make it a little bit clearer exactly what part of the overall assembly we're changing. I then smash this 2D component into its constituent pieces and we're now ready to make our changes. As you can see, we're already in the sketch environment. So we'll start by adjusting the position of this cutout. We put in our overall dimension because we want to make sure that is maintained and then we add a further dimension that's going to allow us to reposition the cutout. As you've seen before it's very simple it recognizes the relations but allows us to then dynamically drag the cutout to its new location. Now if you keep in mind that there are over 10,000 curves in this sketch you can see that the performance is excellent. Let's take a look at the next change. This time we're going to modify the overall height of this pedestal at the end of the machine. So again we add the dimension, we select extra geometry and then we can dynamically reposition the height of the pedestal, move it up, but in this case we want to reduce it for our modification. To complete the feasibility study we're going to increase the length of the machine bed by a meter. So we're going to use some construction curves and then we're going to reposition the end of the bed. So again we create a dimension, we can double click to edit it we start dragging the geometry and we've left some behind so again very easily we can just go and reselect the other geometry notice now that it maintains all its relationships and rather than just dragging the geometry we can type in a value of zero to make sure that the bed now sits a further meter away from where it originally did so i think you'll agree how easy it was to create a new design concept from an existing 3D machine assembly. We took the assembly into our NX layout application, we created the sketch layout, and then we were able to use our brand new sketch tool and the powerful solver to make the design changes we required.